but this is a space maintainer. This one that you see here, that's what we call a lingual holding arch or lower lingual holding arch. We do this daily, seriously, daily in a pillow practice. In the old days, to make a space maintainer, we will need to take an impression with alginate. I know, with everything that means the alginate, the consistency and the preparation, and this is a child, and some will have a gag reflex, and you see how critical it is to have the space maintainer, because we, in this particular patient, lost a couple of baby molars, so we really need to make sure that we maintain that space. But now in these days, impressions are out of my business. The classical impression without you. Now this is what we do. We use a scanner. We go in the mouth, we scan the mouth, and we'll create an image like this that is to be transferred to the lab. And then two weeks later, we have our space maintainer ready to deliver. And the precision is 100%. Usually you don't need any adjustments. So if you are a pediatric dentist or you are a family dentist, you see kids, you really need to think for the benefit of the patient, you need to think about placing space maintainers when you perform an extraction way before the time, normal exfoliation time. And you need to place a space maintainer. And guess what? You need to have a scanner. The days of the alginate are in the past. We don't have any more alginate here in my office. And I was a heavy user of alginate. So no more alginate. We take the impression using the scanner, and then a few weeks later, we get our appliance. That's the way to go. No more alginate, no more tears, no more gag reflex, no more vomit, and more pattern happy, which means more patients walking through the door. Thank you so much.